Ross Scout says, hey, coach, I like this girl, but she isn't saved. I know not to be with someone unequally yoked. Should I try and build a friendship with her so that maybe one day she'll change or should I not pursue? I would not pursue because only God can change someone. No matter how hard you try, no matter how good you are, only God can change a person. And most people that we want to save, you can't save her because she don't want to be saved. You can't save him because he don't want to be saved. You can't change her because she don't want to be changed. Like only God can change. The Bible says some plant and some water, but God gets the increase. See, some people you're just meant to plant. And I don't when it comes to the opposite sex of a, with where there's attraction, it's not wise to plant seed in someone that who hasn't received the first seed, the Holy Spirit, who hasn't received the seed of the gospel. Right. Because if you try to seed in a field that hasn't been cultivated by the Holy Spirit, then you waste in time. So if you know that she is not saved, you got to trust her with God because you're going to be spinning your wheels, wasting your time pursuing someone you think you can change, but you can't change. You can preach the most beautiful message. You can be the sweetest guy. You can do all these great things for her. And she's going to look at you with dead eyes because her soul is dead. And she may welcome it. She may like it. She may even go to church for a while. But if the Holy Spirit ain't cut that light on in her spirit, then you're just you then you're just going to be in the way and you're just going to be wasting your time. And so if you sometimes I know our, sometimes we already know what to do, but it's hard to do because of what our heart wants to do. Right. And so if you try to build a friendship, men cannot build friendships with someone because we are investors. Men, that's why you got to check your motive, because for the, your friendship will not be valid. Your friendship will be based upon potentially and hopefully she becomes someone that likes you. And then what if she never likes you? What if she never gets saved? What if she's out there? Then you invested and got no return. God only wants us to invest in a woman that he has already known will guarantee a return to us. If I go and invest in another woman right now, I'm told I'm sowing in someone else's land. I'm towing somebody else's land and I'm mismanaging the land that God gave me or gifted me. And so if you if you try to develop a friendship with her, hoping that that friendship God will use to use to be used to re, to renew her mind and keep, make her a Christian, then you're going to find yourself wasting time. You the goal in life is to follow God, not fall, not be ahead of God. All right. You said, should I try and build a friendship with her so that maybe one day she'll change or should I not? I wouldn't pursue. I wouldn't pursue. You want to be with the woman that God has for you. Because the work was the work will be easier. Like if the work of salvation is a work that only God can do. If you try to save a person, you're gonna realize that you're incapable of saving them. And I would just let her go, because I promise you, whatever you have to let go for God's sake will always be will always be better. I said, whatever you have to let go for God's sake, you will find will have will always have been better than what you thought you wanted. I promise you. No matter how beautiful she is, no matter how talented she is, no matter who she is. If she ain't the one for you, whoever God has for you will make you forget about the person. Let me tell you, who God has for you will make the people you used to date forgettable. Whoever the person has for you, God will make them forgettable. God is not going to be like, oh, shucks, that's the best I can do. Oh, man, you probably should have dated her. No, God's going to be like, what I have for you is going to make you forget that person you thought you wanted. Everything God has for you will make you forget the things that you want because God always blesses beyond our expectations. The woman I marry right now is 10 times greater than every woman I ever dated. 10 million times greater. No knock to them, but it's because she's more fitted for me. And as you mature, you begin to see what's actually for you. Hope that.